Hi, I'm Claire Tanzi, food editor at Chatelaine Magazine. Welcome to the Chatelaine Kitchen, where we triple test all our recipes to make sure they're delicious and foolproof. We tested our pumpkin pie recipe more than 10 times, making improvements with every test. Today, I'm going to show you the best way to make a perfect pumpkin pie. These are all the ingredients that you need to make a perfect pumpkin pie. It might look like a lot, but it's worth it in the end. Actually, it's pretty easy. Pastry can be intimidating, and one way to make it easier is to do it in the food processor. This is just flour, salt, and a bit of sugar, buzzed around a bit, and then you pour in cold, unsalted butter. It's really important that it's cold. That is one of the few tricks of pastry. And then you just let the food processor do all the work and pulse the butter into the flour until it forms little crumbs. And then just add enough ice water to make it come together, pulsing the whole time. Perfect. These have been chilling and now I'm ready to roll them out. And this is enough to make two single crust pies. Just a little bit of flour on the surface of your counter, a little bit on the surface of the pastry, and a little bit on the pin. And then just roll it out into a big circle. And then you just transfer it into a pie plate. There are lots of unusual techniques, but the important thing to remember is you can always kind of rebuild your pie crust if it rips a bit, and that way nobody will know the wiser. At this point, I'm going to crimp the edge and make it beautiful. Or as beautiful as I can make it. And with this um, pastry, I'm going to blind bake it. And that's um, a technique for making your pastry even more crispy and golden. And also making sure that the pastry is cooked through. Because pumpkin pie filling doesn't really take too, too long to bake, you have to make sure that the crust is already crispy when the filling goes in. So it's crimped, and to blind bake it, you just take a piece of parchment paper, put it over the bottom, and then you put something like pie weights, or I always use plain old dried beans, to weigh down the parchment paper. It bakes at 400 for about 10 minutes, and then you take the pastry, uh, the pie beans out and bake it again for another 10 minutes and then you put the filling in. To make the pie filling, I'll mix pumpkin puree, brown sugar, white sugar, whipping cream, eggs, and all the spices, cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, and allspice. Whisk them all together and then pass them through a fine mesh sieve. This makes the final pie so luscious and silken. Pour the filling into the hot pie crust and pop it back into the oven. Now that earns the Chatelaine seal of approval. For more recipes, go to Chatelaine.com.